Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do some basic noise removal on a podcast. What we're going to do here is we're basically going to start with a pretty bad set of audio tracks. This is two tracks here, two different speakers, but there's a bleed through of one speaker on the second track. So you can see here just looking at these tracks that one is in stereo, of course, and one is mono. We'll fix that in a second. But you can see that there's a bleed through of the second person talking on the first track or vice versa however you want to put that so if i mute this and i play this in the morning, you can yeah. hear that sound that's actually effect of quitting caffeine you can see there's two different people here so this sound shouldn't be on this track what's what usually happens when this occurs is when someone doesn't have their headset on so the speakers from their local computer is basically being picked up by their microphone so they're hearing the other person when you're recording a podcast so you always want to record a podcast with someone having their headset on if possible and also to have that turned as low as possible because that's the other thing and that's actually what happened in this case was that the second speaker did not have their headset low enough so their microphone was actually picking up their the voice through their their headphones which uh, which resulted in, in this sort of echo here. But we can fix that, it's gonna be a little bit tedious, and then we can do some basic noise removal on the tracks. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try to line the tracks up, because this sort of helps. For my podcast, what I usually do is I usually have like a clap, so that makes it pretty easy to line things up. So if I go in and try to find this, you can see where that is. I'm gonna use the shift tool to shift it so these claps are lined up here and this should be pretty close i think it's on the first clap and if i listen here two so. three <laughs> hey everyone welcome back to get that looks pretty good so what we're going to do here is basically just start cutting well, let's get that back to the selection tool and we're going to cut out all of this here so now we're pretty much lined up, and I want to test this hey everyone, out. Everyone, welcome back to Get Up and Code. I uh, have okay. a, a special episode here that the echo is a little bit off. So I'm just going to adjust this a little bit, see which way it needs to go. Hey everyone, welcome. I'm going to zoom in. It'll make it a little bit easier. I'm going to basically try and line up these uh, areas of, of the audio where I can tell where it belongs together. I want to get this as close as possible before we move on. I uh, have a, a special episode today. That sounds pretty good because it sounds like one person. So next thing we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and split this to a mono track. Get rid of this. So now we're pretty much ready to start fixing this. Hey everyone, welcome back to Get Up and Code. I you can hear all that bad background noise. So really the only thing that we can really reliably do here is we can mute this top track for now and then we can go into this bottom track and we can just use the selection tool to basically start selecting out all of this extra echo here and just hit Control L to mute it. This is really probably the best way to handle this situation. So it's a little bit tedious, like I said, but what can you do? If you want to eliminate this, then don't record the audio. Uh, that, that picks it up on both sides. You have to really try to make sure that you remind guests if you have a podcast to keep your audio low in their ears and to definitely wear headsets. But you're going to go through the whole thing and, and sort of fix that out. Basically, you can look at the, the other track and see where another person's speaking. Anywhere that someone's speaking, the other person really shouldn't be. So if you see some noise on their track, you can pretty much eliminate that. And it doesn't take that long to go through the whole thing. I'm not going to go through the whole thing here. But then let's look at, once you've done that, then it's time to do the actual noise removal. And we can do this on each track. So what we can do is we can look for a spot where there is some decent background 
noise. It depends. Like if we're going to be muting this track, it's we're not going to find too many gaps here, but we could, you know, find a little spot here where we haven't done any muting on this track and then we can go to effect and go to noise removal and then we're going to do get noise profile. Then we're going to click here to select this bottom track only. You don't want to apply it to both tracks because this noise profile applies to this specific track. And then we're going to do effect noise removal and then say OK. And that's going to give you a pretty basic, pretty decent noise removal built into Audacity. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing with the other track and get the noise removal done on that track as well. And this will just make things sound a little bit better. So the this other track, remember, didn't have the problems. We didn't have to delete all that stuff. So we can just find sort of an empty spot in here to get a good sample. We'll do effect, noise removal. First we get noise profile. Then we're going to select this entire track and say effect, noise removal. OK. And that's it. Uh, so basically, you're going to go through the entire podcast, uh, getting rid of the the bleed over noise, and you're going to do the noise removal, and then you'll have something pretty clean. Go ahead and listen through different parts of it just to make sure, make sure everything's lined up, and you're good to go.